So with grade, ideally I'd love to be down on the floor, down there digging a trench for you, showing that we can go up or down with the trench working with 2D. But seeing I'm already up on the bench, what I'd like to do is demonstrate working on a slope. So all I do is I place the bucket in the position of the slope that I want to be able to create. Now for those of us that have worked with batters before, I can easily work, and that have worked with 2D, you have to be able to create a benchmark. Again, I've configured the joysticks to be able to give me a benchmark just by pressing a button on my right joystick. I now have my benchmark. I've set the slope at 15 degrees. Now, the traditional method of working with 2D and grade is that you have one eye on your monitor and the other eye on your bucket. So, of course, I can just continue to work up and watch my monitor where I can work within that 15 degree envelope. And that can work going up or going back. Now, that's the traditional method working, working with grade. But we have the unique feature on the next gen where we have something called grade with assist where the machine will actually take control and do the grade for me and I only need to operate one of the joysticks. So again, I'll place the bucket in the position, I'll reset my benchmark, which I've just done, and now again through the joysticks on my right hand, I've asked the machine to take over with grade and bucket assist. Now this is where hopefully you can see on the monitor, I'll take my right hand off the joystick for those who want to see me, I'm waving at you. Now with the left hand, I'm just you can see the machine is creeping up at that 15 degree. So this is called grade with bucket assist. Now this works whether you want to go up or whether you want to go down in a slope. Also works while you're digging that trench. And we get within 20 to, 20 to 25 mil accuracy working with grade and bucket assist. So there's two, a couple more ease of use features there for you, James.